Hey guys, Brenton Haynes here. Welcome to the Investor Preview. Today, we are in Castle Rock in the Meadows, checking out a four bedroom, three bath home that was built in 1990. Let's take a closer look at this house and see if it's a great investment opportunity. Hey guys, all right, so we jump back into the studio. Let's analyze this property and see how it looks for us. So it meets some of my basic requirements. I love stuff off the I-25 corridor. Uh, this is in Castle Rock, so it's a little bit further south, Denver Metro, great commuter neighborhood. We have low HOA and we'll get into that in, 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 uh, in the numbers. Uh, it's a little bit newer property, 1990, not super new, not super old. So it kind of fits in those basic parameters. So. We have a purchase price of $450,000. We're gonna put 25% down, which is $112,500. Now I put in some basic uh, uh, loan costs as well. So you can add some title fees to that. So maybe double that figure. I'll give you some total closing costs in there. Rough rule of thumb, maybe higher, maybe lower, depending on, on what you can negotiate. Okay, so all in uh, for right now. Uh, I don't put any repair costs in. I'm just looking at basic money in. So I'm just over 114,000 in. So let's talk about rental income. Okay, what do we think this home would rent for? And what do you think we need to do to get that rent? So I came up with a, with a pretty wide spread of uh, about 2,300 to 2,600. So I kind of used the middle platform of $2,450. Okay, I don't think I would need to do too much cosmetically to get that. So I like that number, it kind of fits in um, with where I think it's gonna to need to be. So I think this is a good bones home, but we haven't peeled back many layers looking at mechanicals and roofs and, and, and things like that. So we need to get a professional inspector out. So let's look at some of our basic expenses now. So I'm use a, a straight 5% for basic repairs, maintenance, reserves. So that puts us just under 1500. We got property taxes just over 2,600, and I'm using about 2,000 uh, a, a year for insurance. Now, some other other expenses, uh, landscaping. I, I just use $100 a month right now, um, so 1,200 a year, and then our really low HOA fees, so 360 uh, a year. So total expenses is just over $7,600. Not too bad. Now. I didn't throw in any vacancy because I just want to look at a one year snapshot. My tenant I put in place, I'm going to make sure that we get a one year lease. So yes, I'm running a little bit thin on the expenses, but I just want to look at that snapshot real quick. Okay. So now our net operating income, 21,750. Okay. Not too bad, but let's factor in the loan. So I used four and a half percent on a 30 year mortgage. Now rates are a little bit better than that right now. Uh, I'm being a little conservative there. There might be some skin in the game there as well to recoup. Um, it's not tens of thousands of dollars, uh, but I, I, I wanna go a little conservative on that. And uh, depending on what your credit score is and where you're at, that may be a viable number for you, okay? So that leaves us with a, about 1,200 bucks left at the end of the year. So I, I'm making 100 bucks a month. I'm like the gardener. Okay, on, on this property. So this, does this really make sense? Now, most people really focus on that cash on cash return. So in your investment journey, if you're younger, you're, you're not so concerned maybe uh, on that cash on cash return. Maybe you're concerned about the three other returns in real estate. So some appreciation value. Do I think this area is gonna appreciate well over the coming years? I, I think so. I think this is a good area. Castle Rock is really grown. We still have a lot of people moving into the area. So equity buildup. So that's paying down your loan. So my tenant is gonna be paying down my loan. That, that's a given. Uh, I think over the coming years, I can at least get that rent and really pay down that loan and keep those expenses down as well. So I think that's a good return there. And uh, depreciation, tax shelter, things like that on our write-offs. So we can write some stuff off, bring down our taxable income. 
So all those other returns look pretty solid to me. Uh, as an investor, I like acquiring that asset and, and really working those numbers. I'm personally not as dependent on the cash on cash return. I love acquiring that asset, building some equity and appreciation, and then exchanging into uh, something that may be a little bit more cash flow um, producing. So anyway, leave some of your comments on, on further down on the, the video. You can see some pictures of the property so you can get a better idea of what I saw in there. I know pictures don't really tell the whole story, but if you want to stay on and take a look at those pictures, great. Um, but, but leave some comments. Let me know. Does this fit some of your criteria? We're going to analyze some more property. This is just a single family. They're not huge cash flow makers uh, to begin with. As you get up into the multi-units, that's where the big money is. So, but we got to get started somewhere, right? So, hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to, to like it. Hit subscribe on my channel. Would love some feedback. Hope you guys have a great day and happy investing.